pits. All the pits. Best channel point redemption ever! Gonna cut in, maybe? Yep. They make it. Good job. From the orange team gets sent up the 27 Lunas. 27 Lunas gets it sent up the Luna with the power cry on the shot. Yes! What a pass by Luna! So. Wait, is um, that the. The GIF, the GIF of... It's the GIF of Matt Miko, yes. It's the GIF, GIF of Matt Miko. Yes, the GIF of Matt Miko. Are you serious? How did I run over that? There's no way. There's no way! There's no way. Wow, you're creepy as there is like I could literally, I could literally right now go download a Walmart asset and put a Walmart down here with parking. <laughs> Myself was just saying, we're we are literally the yin to each other's yang.
Violate, like, all right, all right <laughs> welcome everybody to Virus Media Cast VRML. Tonight we got Tachyons. Oh, that's not right. I have Tachyons versus Tachyons. Tachyons versus Dynasty. I'll fix that in just a second. Your casters tonight will be Bay 53 and Abchu 2. That is how you pronounce it. Take it away, guys. Hey, um. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Uh, I get to the fortune of casting my own team, which is always fun. Uh, I'll try not to be too hard on them this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited for this match. We got two great teams that we know pretty well. Uh, you might know one team a little better than I do, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, all all beer leaguers, uh, except for except for one one young league on my team, but we don't really count him. Uh, but yeah, uh, every, everybody, yeah. I, I played with most of these people, uh, on the other team as well, just from doing different beer league activities and yes. privateers and whatnot. So it should be a really good game. I've honestly, uh, as soon as I saw we were going up against them, I was like, Ooh, this is going to be a tough, this is going to be a tough game for them. Cause the, I've seen all the four of these guys play and they are nothing to laugh about for sure. I mean, I, I don't know if the yeah the, the stream probably just saw that amazing three right there and that was just in their lollygagging <laughs> practice time so can't wait to see how many threes are scored in this match. Yeah, and both teams are kind of knocking on the door for the uh, Challenger Cup here, so you know this this could have ramifications. You never know, so it'll be a pretty highly competitive game, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, hey, Zori, what's up? See you in chat. Uh, skinny, of course. <laughs> one of one of Chu's teammates. Okay, hey, you gonna say hi to Skinny? Come on. <laughs> okay, hi, Skinny. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> A lot, lots of familiar faces in chat. Psychotic. Aren't you supposed to be in a in a scrim or a game right now? I thought you said you had a game at nine. Or a scrim at nine. <laughs> you can take it some time away to come watch the stream. Thanks. <laughs> Aw, yeah, I want Boba too. I always want Boba. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's Maria. Um, or uh, Chimichanga, as they like to say. But yeah, let's start off this match. Um, see, who do, who do you predict is going to get that first... Uh, Orange, which I called after. <laughs> yep, yep, but you did it. It doesn't matter. It's you still called it. All right, so it looks like Tachyon is going to get the disc first, but they do have a clear down that doesn't quite make it into the goal, and it looks like Dynasty is going to get there first and get hold of the disc for just a little bit. Um, they do clear it down, and it is a slow clear, and they do have a stack coming, and they do get there first. Um, I'm saying they do a lot. Um, <laughs> But Shiny is going to be the one to get the disc and send it back for a reset to ZZ, who's going to do a little bit of juking here. That stack is looking to try to snag it for Dynasty as Tachyons does a little bit of a slowdown play here, trying to take their time. They know this is a team This is a team to beat, especially if they want that Challenger Cup. All right. Yeah, and we're seeing from Tachyons, you know, a lot of patience, which, you know, I, I expect to see uh, from them from their previous matches. Uh, good passing right now. Uh, and we got them in the bubble right there. And the, or sorry, Shiny gets a nice two-pointer dunk, basically. Yeah, a, g a g good amount of teamwork there. The good passes all right before. That's a that's a nice sneaky shot there on the right on the side of clock. Uh, I like that one myself. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> that clock is tough for goalies. Uh, it needs a lot of communication. Very true. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a very good angle to try to get back there. So it does look like um, T Dynasty has some really good passes here uh, on their starting joust, and they're gonna continue this passing play down. It, they do get a stun by uh, Tachyons. They lose the disc for just a moment. It's going to go to Tunnel, and it does look like Ta Dynasty is going to be the one to get there first. Going to do a long pass down that doesn't quite make it, and Tachyons is able to recover it first and send it down 
almost into Dynasty Zone, but it doesn't quite get there. And Biot is there to grab the disc and give a nice pass to Cashflow. Luckily for Tachyons, they they were there in goal, so he didn't have an open open shot on goal. But that that's not going to stop Dynasty as they do a bit of a floor floor play here, doing some some floor passes that lead into a a nice cut and a roundabout dunk there. Wow. Yeah, that was great patience in the bubble. They, they waited to get set up and then and pushed in and got the easy two. Yeah, I think with, with Dynasty, they, they're, uh, their passes are just a little off, uh, but they're they're able to recover, which which is good to see. And that's how, how big those stacks are to be able to to adjust to those those passes. Yep. All right, uh, Tachyons are going to start off with the disc here, um, doing a, a, another a little bit of a slow float forward as Shiny looks like he's almost going to take it in by himself, but doesn't quite make it there as Cashflow is there to stop the disc from the bounce. Um, Tachyons are going to get there first, but their their hesitant pass back doesn't quite make it, but it doesn't matter because Tachyons is going to steal again. Oh, just to have it stolen right back again by Dynasty for the clear down into Tachyon zone just for them to get recover and get there first and get a nice pass off to Shiny. Shiny's going to attempt the shot there, but doesn't quite make it as Akami is there to grab the disc and to clear it down into Tachyon zone. Just for that nice, beautiful, oh, a beautiful stack coming in right in the right place at the right time for a beautiful three. Yeah, that was a, that was a nice little uh, move there. I'm sure the comms were telling exactly where that stack to go, so they set that up perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, our Tachyon's going to start, or my Tachyon's, uh, are going to start it off with, uh, uh, it looks like a left play here that doesn't quite make its final destination, and it is going to go up and be a bit of a floater here. It's going to be a race to get there first. Tachyon's do get there first. They're going to do a little bit of a joker train here that doesn't quite work out with her them as Shiny does get stunned out, and the Akami is able to recover and send it down into Tachyon's bubble, where, oh, it almost had a good bounce and would have been towards the goal, but it goes back out of bubble and does a bit of some bouncing here, but just enough time for Dynasty to get the disc and do a little bit of some floor plays here again. Um, now moving up, uh, they're going to take their time. Cashflow is sitting on Bowtie here, looking for his passes, making sure his options are open. Tachyons is giving them a little space here, trying to trying to make them look like they have the, the passing plays here, but they know that they actually do have the passing plays here as they do two passes. They're that make it through and a bounce shot that doesn't quite go in as shiny is able to get the nice a nice save there on the back yeah both teams are, are showing good patience around the bubble but but those defenses are are really covering those those cuts and forcing some tough attempts yeah i i am seeing a lot of clearing here as well um everybody's clearing it down and it just seems to be like a stack race to, to whoever's going to get there first. Um, it does seem like that's kind of both teams' strategy for how to get it down to the other side of the field whenever they, do, they don't do those slow um, passing plays, that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're not seeing the, uh, the goal being too open for too long. Right there, you know, uh, we, we saw Dynasty miss an open three, but uh, those attempts are few and far between. As you see here, stacks are back before Disc even gets to the goal there. We got cash flow with the disc, and they're going to do a little dribble, but it is intercepted by ZZ. Um, they're going to get a crossover to Dynasty, with cash flow is going to reach to goal, and can't get the clear out, but the stack's ready. Uh, and now it's just a slow stack race, and Dynasty's going to get there first. Uh, Akami's going to wait for some help with a nice cross pass, and... Biot is in trouble with the turnover, and let's see here, we got a stack back by Orange. Um, we'll get possession back. All right, and back into Tachyon zone. Uh, Cashflow is going to get a nice pass off to Biot, who's going to dunk it in for two for Dynasty. Man. 
What do you think of the game so far? Wow, it's 7-2, seven, seven but it, it almost doesn't feel like it, there's that big of a, a point difference here as both teams are playing very well. Yeah, it, it's really, they're, they're both kind of slogging through. Uh, there, there's a lot of tempo changes, I feel like, through this game. So both are, are kind of finding their way through this first this rep, first round. As Army gets a cross pass, uh, they're going to reset it uh, back to Octavius. Uh, try to get a better bubble, and he's looking for the cut. Oh, what a save off the bank. Uh, those goalies are really reading those uh, those bounce shots well. Got across through the pass, and Octavius with the EV2. So uh, good patience by uh, by Blue to, to not give up on the play there. Yeah, yeah. It does seem like they're doing a lot of uh, bounce passes here, and both teams are very good at reading that, that's for sure. Um, wow. Wow. Uh, but a good good play by Tachyon's getting that the getting that two in is a three point game. Dynasty in the lead. But Tachyon's is gonna say we're not gonna keep that lead for very long as they attempt a third three pointer. But it doesn't matter, because even though they missed, they were right there for the rebound to get it right in for two. Yeah, that was a great leech by the stack to uh to break uh, by blue to to break uh up that initial joust uh, throw so that they could get the uh the easy goal there. Yeah, yeah. There was an open goal, and I feel like every time there's an open goal and you shoot for that three, it just gets so much harder to hit for some reason. <laughs> that goal seems smaller when it's open for some reason. <laughs> right, and we got uh, Akami on the ceiling. He's just walking it up. Uh, Dynasty taking their time, slowly moving forward. They got a nice, nice crosses going on. Um, they got the bubble offense going, and there's a bounce shot finally getting through one of these goalies. Yep, that was a beautiful shot by Cashflow against the, the back back clock to get it in for two for Dynasty. It is still a three-point game. Uh, it's still not out for Tachyons. They, they could get a three-pointer right here and take it into OT. Uh, but let's see what they'll do with this last 45 seconds. Yeah, Tachyons don't have time on their side, so they're they're gonna have to play with a little urgency. But uh, you know, at this point, they pr are probably gonna need a three now, so they're probably trying to plan what they're gonna do. Tavius is trying to hit the open man, but it just off. Uh, but ooh, uh, intercepted, and it's going to be a race, I imagine. And there is Dynasty to ice it. Yep, uh, that final point from from Dynasty. There's not going to be enough time here. This this round is over to Dynasty. Wow, um, six or eleven to six Dynasty. Uh, I do think both teams played very well though. Um, uh, definitely not any one-sided game. Uh, no no real major mistakes I would say. Uh, both teams, yeah, playing playing pretty well. What, what do you think so far? Yeah, I, I would say Tachyon's did a great job of keeping the pressure on Dynasty. Um, Dynasty had, towards the middle of that, that round, they, they started to, to gain momentum and, and keep control, but Tachyon's kept at it, and, and they really applied the pressure, got to a one-score game. Uh, and then, you know, Dynasty was just able to disrupt them just enough in that last minute to to you know run away with it at the end there but but i expect the next round to be you know a, a new game almost uh you know those first rounds don't always say how how it's going to end so i think it'll be a pretty close one again yeah yeah it's go ahead oh uh we have a new subscriber um doug all right nice thank oh, you for thank subscribing you, doug, doug. Good to see you here, Doug. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Got a got a go tachyon. Thank you, Knock. <laughs> yeah, and and interesting enough, I don't recall a single three being uh, being made in that round. So you know, both teams are really limiting those those opportunities. And yeah. we got. Uh, uh, with the disc and you're gonna cross it over with intercepted by Biot. The nice clear as so we get a possible stack race. All right, and Biot gets it. Oh, there's the three, right? The <laughs> caster's yeah. You had to mention threes, of course, and then it happens right there before your eyes. 
uh, as Biot gets a beautiful three for Dynasty, starting off the round. It's a nice start for Dynasty. Yep, they're definitely going to try to keep that momentum going. Uh, and Tachyons is going to do their best to try to squash that momentum, of course, and try to try to gain some momentum themselves. Try to score some points for blue. <laughs> uh, but they are going to lose the disc right there uh, on their own side, and Dynasty is going to take advantage of that for an open three by Biot once again. Biot's racking up those threes this round. Yeah, Biot's coming out fired up, um, so they, they may have to keep their eye on him uh, and try to limit those opportunities. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see what Tag Gun's going to do with the disc now. Um, as Octavius Rex sends it down to ZZ that doesn't quite make it through, but Dynasty is able to get there with a the stack and send it down into Tachyon zone for another open three by B White Dragon. Oh wow! Yeah, I was about to say this might be a, a good time for a for a timeout on Tachyon's side uh, to slow down this momentum because right now Dynasty is is a an unstoppable train with these threes. They they need to figure out uh, how to how to prevent these. Yep, it does look like they they took your advice. Uh, as a, I do believe it was Tachyon who who took this pause, um, probably trying to give maybe do a little pep talk here, as uh, they're trying to trying to gain some momentum and maybe maybe ice ice the kicker as they like to do. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and and you know the the one thing on Tachyon's side here is there's still plenty of time, eight minutes twenty seconds. Uh, you know. There's plenty of time to make adjustments, uh, but uh, but if I were Dynasty, they, they got to be. You can see they're they're feeling loose, but still still out there trying to stay warm. So see them uh, doing their stacks in the arena while while Tachyons are, are likely talking strategy. Yep, yep. They're de definitely taking two different sides of what you do during a timeout. Do you do you take that extra time just to practice a little bit more? You can always get your regrav slightly better by just continuously practicing back and forth across the arena. Or do you take that time to strategize a little bit? Um, maybe work out some kinks in a play that didn't go well in the previous round or, or just, just trying to get spirits high again. Definitely something that Tachyon's... Um, could use some some high hopes right now. I wish I could be there. I'm usually the motivational speaker for them. Uh, try to get them pumped before games and stuff like that. Yeah, and you know maybe you know, Tachyons may want to look at at possibly working the disc a little more with some shorter passes. Uh, you know, it seems a lot of these threes are coming off of interceptions from from some deeper passes that are opening up for, for open goals. So they may want to uh, try to try to change it up a little to, to get a little better possession uh, to, to prevent those. Yeah, for sure. Um, they're probably going to take this full five minutes here. Um, let me check how much time is on the clock. Team, oh, the, they have just unpaused, so... Looks like they're going to try to get back into the game. Hope hope that they've uh, Ice Dynasty just a little bit. <laughs> so they can take it back. 11, 10, 9, All right, we got right. Tachyons uh, with the disc. And we'll see what kind of rollout they come out with. Uh, we're going to have... Their QB Octavius has a disc, uh, walks it up. There's a shorter pass to Pack by ZZ. He's slowly walking it up. Uh, they're doing a good job keeping that back stack under control. Uh, and Pacians have numbers with Shiny with a nice a great cut and ooh, just a little bit of an underthrow there. Uh, with Dynasty looking to turn it, and they get a nice. Clear and that stack is sort of getting to the disc. All right, they're taking their time, and we get a turnover with Shiny. It's disc great clear. Uh, now the key is for Tachyons if they have any stacks ready, and Dynasty gets back uh, first uh, as they they were ready for that. We're gonna get a little bit of a what looks like a dribble play going. 
uh, Dynasty closes that bubble down, or sorry, Tachyons closes that bubble down. Uh, but uh, again, uh, a little quick clear there that, that goes right to Dynasty. And Army with the long bounce shot. My goodness. Oh my goodness. My my own camera was not ready for that as I, I was I was looking backwards waiting for the the stack to come in. I was not expecting that three, but Army Army is known for those half court shots and he, he knows exactly where to put the the disc so that it'll go into the goal, even off some bounces. Yeah, and that could be the, the momentum swing they're looking for here. Um, as Biot is walking it up, and oh, the goalie gets stunned out for the open two. Um, so that's a great job by Dynasty keeping that stack at bay while while they kept the numbers. Yeah, for sure. Um, they're back up to that 11 points that they had last round. Um, let's see if Tachyons can get it back up there, get their momentum going. Maybe that three, maybe the high from that three will will just keep keep them going for just a little bit longer. As it looks like Zizi's gonna take the disc and walk it down just a little bit. A uh, missed pass that is re recovered by um, recovered by Dynasty, but it is immediately taken back by Octavius Rex for Tachyons. Hand it off to Shiny, who gets it in 4-2 for Tachyon. Yeah, that was a great play. Uh, just uh, working the bubble and and keeping keeping spaced out. Uh, that, that's key to get those easy twos. Yeah, for sure. Yep, not nice from uh, Sir Trees. Thank you. Very, very nice shot indeed. Um, Dynasty is going to take it here, doing a little bit of a passing back and forth on clouds here. Looking like they're playing a game of baseball, game of catch back and forth. They do send it down into Tachyon's bubble, and Akami does have the disc for just a moment before Tachyon stuns, stuns him out. Uh, there's three of them on him. He really didn't have much of a chance of getting it in as they're going to reclaim possession of that disc and do a little bit of a passing back and forth, but it doesn't work out because cash flow is there to intercept the pass right before it is into the hands of shiny, but it doesn't matter because shiny is going to get the disc once again and send it down into dynasty zone. Now it's going to be a race to get there and it does look like shiny did a little bit of a self pass there as he is the first to get there and send it down to Octavius Rex in trench. Who's going to give a pass off to arm as easy that doesn't quite make it um and there's going to be a little bit of a race here and then some stuns but it does look like the final outcome is dynasty getting a, a almost a clear down but it does go back into their zone but they are able to recover it and get it into tachyon zone just for octavius rex and zz to get a good stack down and get the pass off to army it is now a 2v2 down unless both teams can get some more players down on field. It does look like Tachyons is going to do a reset here as they send it back to ZZ, who's going to send it straight to Octavius Rex. And then a, a cut pass that doesn't quite work out. That is going to float around just for Dynasty to get there first and send it down into Tachyon's bubble. For the goal for with cash flow, two points, Dynasty. Yeah, yeah, that Dynasty uh, just seems to be really benefiting on these quick turn turnarounds. Uh, you know, uh, Pacquiao is doing a great job, better job working it in the bubble, uh, but uh, but they're they're having trouble when when it those quick turns to, to get back. Octavius uh, passes it off to Tunnel. Shiny is going for the pass up at the top to Army, who's going to try to bait out the defender. And uh, ZZ with a nice cross pass, and oh, that was a great cut uh, give and go. Man, yeah, a beautiful cut there by Shiny Army sitting right at the goal. It may have gone in on its own, but that, that goal they probably would have stopped it. So it was a very good split decision by Army to take it and place it into the goal very gingerly. <laughs> yeah, and Tachyons is still in this game, only a two-score game after that, that barrage at the beginning. So, you know, that timeout seems to be paying dividends, uh, but, but they need to keep the pressure on, uh, which that stack is doing right now as ZZ gets it and have a stack race and a great read by Army, but stopped by Biot uh, on the one-on-one -on -one as we get a free disc. That is working its way back into Dynasty's hands with Dragon uh, 
crossing it over. And it is just out of reach of multiple players as Tachyons is struggling to get that disc out. Um, but the stack is on White Dragon instantly, and we get a nice dribble and a, ooh, a very tough bounce there uh, as they were, they were lining it up. And uh, Dragon gets a nice pass down to the middle to Cashflow, who uh, gets it through to Army uh, with a pass back to Dynasty and a great save. That was in uh, by Army. Uh, and we have another open goal that is just off. Uh, Tachyons has possession again as they are doing a little juking to get the passes open. Octavius controlling the disc with Tachyons trying to stack up, uh, but Dynasty gets the turn, and a nice little pass there to cross, and a push in the bubble with a good read, and just dinging it off off of the, the intercept from goalie, with a uh, almost self-clear there that is going to go in the orange bubble, with ZZ getting a nice read, and a good cut, but a Better read by Bia to just shut that down. And we got Tachyons racing. Dynasty pulls through, but intercepted by the Tachyon stack, who is trying to hit their open man with ZZ, who is going to start walking it up. A tough bounce there with Dynasty getting another turn, which stack will get their first. It looks like Tachyons is able to, to get together. And we have ourselves, the disc is stuck in that trap right now with cash flow trying to get it forward. And they get stunned out with the 2v1. Great, great stack by Pacquiao to get back. Um, but Dynasty is, is ready to recover. However, Tachyon gets a better read and it's a nice save by the goalies there. Tachyon's continue to push it forward and unfortunately there is no time left. Uh, but that was a great, great game by both, both very, very uh, well-coached and well-played teams. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think um, this is this is one of those matchups that it probably could have gone either way, especially seeing how they both kind of have a similar play style of the, the, either they slow down and do some nice slow plays back and forth, or they do really, really fast rounds um, trying to trying to clear it down all the way and try to be the first stack to get there. Um, that definitely was, was on both of their playbooks as, and it just seemed to work out a lot better for dynasty this time, but let's look at some stats here. Um, 14 points by Biot, a much higher point uh, count than anybody else here. Um, yeah. Biot really got that second round going and uh, that, that really set the, set the pace for, for dynasty. Uh, you know, those six points were, were the difference. So uh, that that definitely got them going. Oh, yeah, for sure. And he is also our, our top saves point as well. Biat's just the true MVP as as the the game pro proclaimed. He is our MVP of this match. Yeah. I, I don't doubt it. He was very active through, through the whole game. But there, there was a lot of great saves by both teams. Uh you know, when, once that goalie was there, the teams had to work pretty hard to, to move that disc in. Um, outside of the, the occasional open goal to start, uh, you know, it took a lot of patience and, and uh, control to, to get it through, uh, especially for, for the Tachyon side. Uh, they, they struggled a little bit getting back uh, as, as quick as, as Dynasty did on some of those, those runs. Um, and, but and that was likely the difference uh, because it was it was very close otherwise. Yeah, for sure. Overall, very great, very good match. Uh, all all around, we know all these players are really good. They're good at what they do. Um, maybe we'll get a rematch at some point. See see if the outcome stays the same. Uh, I'm a little biased, I know, being being attacky on myself. So, <laughs> yeah, I love watching both teams. So I I am all for a rematch, and I know uh, a lot of Tyra fam would love to uh, to see it as well. Yep, you were you were the biggest contender for this match. You you've been talking about it for some time now, even I know, for my I, own team. <laughs> as soon as I saw that matchup, I circled it and I said I want to be a part of that. So. I'm happy we, we got to cast this one. Thank you all for, 
for coming out and uh, and joining us uh, because it's it's great having having people there to uh, to see these great teams uh, face off. Cash flow left yep. orange. You got got any uh, last remarks, uh, Gilligan? Yeah, thank you all for uh, tuning in. Uh, this was kind of a last minute thrown together cast. So we appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, stick around. There's no more Echo tonight on this channel, but uh, Thursday Knock Live, formerly known as Saturday Knock Live, is going live right here on this channel. And uh, within the next 20 minutes, you'll get to see Roman and his teammate, uh, Jumbo Cakes, take on some other high-level knock players. Uh, they go live every Thursday at 10 Eastern. So stick around for that. That's coming on very soon. Otherwise, you all have a good night.